Hey everybody, it's Heather. I've got a fresh new um, recipe that I wanted to share. This is exciting because fall is coming up. So what do people normally think of when they think of fall? Pumpkins. Obviously this is just a portion. Um, what I always think about when fall comes around, I used to be a big coffee person and now I've really been trying to get away from that because coffee is extremely acidic which is uh, really bad f for your body. It causes your body to be more susceptible when it, you're acidic. causes it to be more susceptible to sickness and disease. So the more alkaline that you can stay, the better. This is not one of the most, pumpkin is not one of the most alkaline fruits, but uh, it is a fresh fruit, which I believe any fresh fruit is alkaline. So we try to stick to a al more alkaline diet. Anyway, this is an exciting recipe for me because uh, it's kind of a replacement for the pumpkin spice latte that uh, Starbucks sells and similar places. But this is a healthy version and I believe that if you try it, that you'll probably like it. So what I'm going to juice really quick is I'm going to go ahead and juice some pumpkin. What I did was I cut the pumpkin in half just like you would a watermelon. Most people are used to carving pumpkins, they're not used to juicing them. I'm trying to be really gentle with my juicer because some people just chunk this stuff in their juicer and they don't really care, you know, uh, how harsh it might be, but we try to take care of ours. So we're, we treat them with pig gloves. This really isn't going to make that much and I'm kind of doing it to taste. So your taste might be different than what mine is. This is basically about, this pumpkin wasn't very ripe. So it, it, they first came out, I got excited, I snagged one. One of the first ones that they put out at the grocery store. It's, uh, it's September, the middle of September here. So it's not quite pumpkin season. But I think they're trying to get people geared up for pumpkin season. So. What I have, and this is just going to be a little tidbit, just a tiny bit, but what you'll want to do is juice it. There's your fresh pumpkin juice. The other night I actually added some water to it, but I'm not going to do it this time just for this. This doesn't look like very much, and I'm probably not giving you um, the best people with recipes they want to know how much of this and how much of that to make it taste right. Honestly, I'm winging it. So this is going to be something that's going to be to taste. This is really only about half, less than half of a cup of pumpkin juice. This really isn't that much, but you could add water to it. So if you have to have measurements, we'll say that this is just a taste tester. We'll say that you want to have a uh, half of a cup of pumpkin juice. This is almond milk. You could put regular milk, but I don't suggest it. Try to stay away from um, milk products if you can. They're not good for you. They're bad for your digestive system. Uh, cow milk was made for baby cows. It wasn't made for humans. I know sometimes I make stuff with yogurt. I made a, a thing with yogurt the other day. That's a rarity. We maybe have yogurt in my house two, three times a year. But we're trying to get away from it. So I'm not a hypocrite when I say this. We're transitioning into a more raw diet. What you need to understand when you're trying to eat healthy is that it is a process. So it's going to take time to, to get away from things. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some almond milk in here. That kind of gives it the milky, creamy coffee flavor. I'm just going to taste it. And I'm going to add some more. I like mine creamy. This, this is maca. I've mentioned this before. Ladies, this is great for your reproductive system. It's great for your libido if you're trying to um, increase that. I'm going to add a teaspoon of it for now. It kind of has a nutty, buttery flavor, but I've used it in tiramisu. Uh, as a coffee coffee substitute for it. 
and that's worked good too. It's worked out well. Uh, the thing about you're probably better off to add the maca to a little bit of hot water, a tad bit of hot water, although I'm trying to keep this raw. This is organic vanilla. You want to try to get the vanilla that has no alcohol. That's best because alcohol is extremely acidic. That little thing that the um, news media likes to tell you, they lie to you and they tell you that a glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away and that it's actually good for you, they are lying. Wine, beer, alcohol, anything that is fermented is not good for you. It's acidic, extremely acidic. So if you are a regular drinker, that is something that can kill you. Not just because of alcoholism and all of that, it is extremely acidic and it can cause your body to be susceptible to sickness and disease. So I've added the maca for the coffee flavor. I'm going to still taste it again. I'm going to add just a little bit more because I want it to remind me of coffee, Starbucks. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Did not mean to do that. Can't really help it when you sneeze though. So I'm going to add that in, whipping it up. Again, adding the powders might be better if you add them to some hot water. This is fresh cinnamon, organic cinnamon from the spice section of my favorite grocery store. This is nutmeg. I'm just kind of sprinkling it. People just do this, do this to taste. Um, if you like it spicy, make it more spicy. And this is agave nectar. It's probably uh, one of the best things to use for desserts and things like that if you're trying to stay raw. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in here to try to sweeten it up a little. You could use dates, but dates don't work in a juicer. You would have to put that in like maybe the blender or a food processor with the juice and stuff. Uh, I'm just keeping it simple. The other reason why I use agave nectar is it kind of has a little bit of a caramel flavor as opposed to some of the other things that you can use to sweeten. You could use honey, you could use maple syrup, although maple syrup is not really alkaline. Honey isn't either, but it's not extremely acidic. And that is really good. You could actually heat this up if you wanted to, but I suggest that you keep it raw. This is awesome. And this is one of those guilt-free, you could say I had, you could put it on ice, which is what I uh, probably will do. But I think, actually, I think I'm just going to drink it as it is. But this is awesome. It kind of reminds you of the pumpkin spice latte, only it's in a, a raw juice form. So this is a healthy, seasonal fall juice. Enjoy.